In dense, uncharted forests of Central America, wild tribes of Chocos Indians begin the banana harvest. Bananas grow wild in Panama. In Darien, 200 miles south of the Panama Canal, the Chocos Indian villages are visited for the first time by newsreel cameras. To these remote tribesmen, paint for their faces and tobacco are worth more than money. Off on the trip to the banana country. The Chocos in their hunting grounds go to work with sharp machetes, heavy two-foot blades that also build their houses and cut their hair. To get some banana stems, the entire tree is felled. But in the jungle, it grows back again to produce more fruit. During the war, the Chocos collected wild rubber. In peace, they've gone back into the fruit business. A large wild boar killed by bow and arrow means a feast when they get home. The dugout canoes are 50 feet long, hollowed out of mahogany and cedar logs. Loaded to the gunnels, the boats carry up to a ton of fruit. Near the coast, cargoes are transferred to river steamboats that carry them to market. There's no refrigeration here, and the green bananas have to be handled quickly lest they spoil in too much tropic heat. Visited by few people from the outside world, the Chocos Indians contribute their part to the world's food supply.